Darwin in the Northern Territory, Australia, is more than just concrete, steel and glass. It's home to lots of wildlife, and in particular, birds. I'm walking the Broadwalk in East Point Mangrove, to the east of the city. It's a great place. It's packed with noisy, though mostly unseen birds. Sewage farms are amongst my favourite urban birding sites. Often they're on the edge of town, like this one, and bear in mind that you might need to get a permit to visit your one in your local city. Here, there's a lot of activity. On my shoulder, behind me on the structure, are some pied herons. I'm in the northern end of town in a salubrious area and I'm watching a magpie lark right behind me and it's collecting mud for its nest. Magpie larks are quite common around a lot of the cities in Australia and they're actually locally called peewees. Um, for me, they remind me of a, of, of a pied wagtail in, in, in Europe um, on steroids. They're really big, black and white, doesn't wag its tail, but are very interesting looking in terms of the coloration of the black and white. What I love about urban birding is the fact that you can do it anywhere. Every city in the world will have a park to go to to watch birds, and this is no different. The trees are scattered, which forms a loose woodland, and within those trees, and attracted by those trees, are woodland birds. Here, I can hear fig birds, and also around the corner up here, we've got rainbow lorikeets, but best of all, I found a roosting tawny frogmouth just around the corner. If you're ever in a city and you haven't got much time, one of the best things to do if you want to go birding is to pop into a botanical gardens. I'm in Darwin's botanical gardens and I'm watching kingfishers fly past me as I also hear the road in the background and I feel that I'm in the middle of the countryside. I'm in a small piece of uh, rainforest here in the botanical gardens. I've been walking around. I've just discovered something absolutely amazing. It's blown my mind, I can't believe it. Sitting behind me, larger than life, is a rufous owl. It's a rare bird, I'll tell you that. Their territory can be up to 50 kilometers big. This bird is three kilometers away from Darwin, which means this is the only one for miles around. It's incredible. But it's in the evening when Darwin really comes alive. It's when the red-collared lorikeets gather in flocks to head to their communal downtown roosts. Since making this film, the rainbow lorikeet has now been split into three new species. Our red collards, the rainbow lorikeet of Eastern Australia, and the coconut lorikeet of New Guinea. Every night, these birds gather to form an incredible spectacle. Wow. 
What a brilliant way to end my adventure here in Darwin to the deafening sounds of thousands of rainbow lorikeets in their roost over here, right in the heart of the city. But the thing is, you too can experience similar things, similar great moments, if you take a walk around and look at your city through different eyes. And don't forget, anything can turn up anywhere at any time. And with that, it's time for me to sample the nightlife. <laughs>